everyone and welcome to part two of Halloween at Home. Caitlin goes searching through her closet for mediocre Halloween costume activities and ideas. You clicked, you know what's going on. First up, I don't know if you can tell by the very high budget illustration on my top, but I'm Mabel from Gravity Falls. If you didn't watch Gravity Falls when you were a kid, it's a story of a set of twins who spend the summer with their great uncle in a place called Gravity Falls. Lots of supernatural fun stuff ensues. Mabel is hands down the best part of that show. And fortunately for all of us, it's a very easy Halloween costume to replicate. All you need is a mini skirt in a bright color. Hers is purple, but I don't have purple. A big, cozy turtleneck, which hopefully all of us have. If you don't, they're fairly inexpensive to buy secondhand. I don't know if you can tell, but I did my own artwork for this DIY. I was originally just going to print out the star rainbow, but my uh, printer was out of ink. So I got to illustrate this, at which point I realized that I don't have any markers or crayons or pencil crayons either. So we're gonna get the black and white version today. And I also didn't cut it out. I mean, if you do this costume, like, definitely put more work into it than I did, but... If you have a headband of any kind, you can go ahead and put that in, too. If you have braces, this is a great Halloween costume for you, because Mabel has some pretty kick-ass braces, too. I also have her socks. I have plain ones, but I thought it would be way more fun to do something a bit colorful. And her standard black flats. Oh, hi, I can go here. I don't want to flash anybody. Next up, I am the icon herself, Miss Audrey Hepburn from the very famous 1957-58 film Funny Face. If you've seen it, it's not a great film. There is, I think, a 20-year age difference, if not more, between Fred Astaire and Audrey Hepburn in that film, and there's supposed to be love interest, so it's like, it's okay. But Audrey, the icon, as usual, is just... Perfect. A lot of her famous looks come from this movie. This is her famous outdoor look. Here are the famous uh, shoes. If you have a keen eye, of course, you know that these are the same shoes and socks that I used for the Mabel costume. Why not reuse, right? Especially if you're gonna have Halloween at home. She wears a very simple car coat out in the rain in this film, but when she takes it off, she goes to that club where they do that like, I don't know, that really funny dance? Oh, funny face. No, that's not. Is that why? No. no. She's got the turtleneck, the high-waisted pants, the loafers, and the socks. And she kind of just like, I can't. <laughs> if you follow me, you know I can't dance, but like, that's what she does. This look is very simple. You just have a red lip. You kind of part your hair to the side. If you have bangs, all the better. Black turtleneck, black pants, black shoes, you're done. If you want to look like Audrey, this is probably the year to do it because she's very simple in her style. Simple and elegant, of course. Queen Audrey, like don't. <gasps> Cause I actually wear this outfit in the winter all the time because I want to look like Audrey Hepburn like literally all of the time. All right, I want to make one thing very clear here and that is that if I was going to be Midge Maisel aka the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel out in the world, I would 100% get an actual black vintage dress that is much longer than this. This whole costume would just basically look better, okay? Okay? But it's Halloween at home, so this is what we're doing. I took these black gloves from an old flapper costume I have. This is my podcast mic. I have a few strands of pearls, the classic black flit, flit fit and flare. Why can I never say that? Fit and flare. I want to make it very clear, again, that this, this is like the stay at home more modern midge version. Like I love Marvelous Mrs. Maisel so, so much. So I would put so much stock into getting one that looks right. And I just, I just need you to know that. <laughs> A lot of people tell me I look like Miss 
Mrs. Maisel or sound like Mrs. Maisel. And whenever that happens, I, <laughs> I don't know. I just have like an outer body experience because I love her so much. And I love that show so much. I just, I stand there and I'm like, <laughs> inside I'm like, You're why does a woman always have to, have to something? Tries to do stand up, forgets everything about stand up. If you want to be Ms. Midge Maisel at home, tie her hair back, curl it really well. You do with gloves or without. On her debut, she had gloves. I don't think she always does, but she usually wears black. So if you have a black fit and flare dress lying around and some kind of pearls, then just wear those. Just be kind of like a quick, sassy lady. Smart, cool, fun, competent awesome lady. Next up, looks like a regular old witch, but you know what? If you play it right and you carry not a pumpkin, but perhaps a Starbucks drink, maybe a good old pumpkin spice latte, you've got yourself a basic witch. I have to be honest, I came up with this pun last year for a Halloween party and I was very proud of it, so I wanted to put it in a video. And I've got some tights, some witchy shoes, I have a, uh, <laughs> what is this sleeve? Bell sleeve? Dress. If you're just in your house alone and you want to be a basic witch, you could just have the pumpkin spice latte on your own and just like pop a witch's hat on. But um, as we know, I'm a little bit extra. So here we are. Maybe get a broom from the garage or the basement, wherever you keep your brooms and uh, carry that around your house and you know, there you are. Just sip your latte. Is this hat even in frame? Can you even see it? Ugh. If you don't have a witch's hat, you could literally make one out of construction paper and tape. I've done that before as a kid, so Halloween 2020, I feel like there's no better time to try silly Halloween DIY things because chances are no one's gonna see them. Hello, I'm television's Moira Rose. You were all from Schitt's Creek, anyone? No? I think I saved the best for last. Moira, if you haven't seen Schitt's Creek, always wears a wig, dresses exclusively in black and white, lots of bling, high, 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 silly heels. I've wanted to be Moira for Halloween ever since I finished the series recently. And I think I actually did a pretty good job. As you can see, I have never done a smoky eye in my life. So this is a mess, but I overlined my lips. I got the, uh, I got the hair going and the big jacket. When you take it off, I think it even sort of moires up the look a little bit. Baby, baby. Oh man, I can't do accents. Personally, this one's my favorite out of all of the outfits thus far, even in the other video, like I want to dress up like Moira all the time. And fun fact, my battery died right before I filmed this outfit. So I've been sitting around my house for like 20 minutes wearing this. And you know what? It's been kind of fun. If you have anything lying around like black and white or chunky jewelry, it's pretty easy to be Moira for Halloween or anyone from the cast of Schitt's Creek. That's another good family costume actually. And I'm sure because they won so many Emmys this year, we'll be seeing a lot of Schitt's Creek Halloween costumes, which I hope so. Because of my rule, I only have one pun costume and I did that already. But if you wanted to, you could do Moira Rosé and just carry around a bottle of Rosé dressed like Moira another option. What costume was your favorite? Comment down below because I want to see you hopefully have some fun this Halloween even though we won't be able to actually do much. Post on Instagram with the hashtag MyTechHalloween and Halloween at home because I want to see your at home looks because this has been a very weird and fun exercise in creativity. Please enjoy yourselves, but do so safely and responsibly. We are still in the midst of a pandemic and 2020 is one of those years you just don't want to mess with. Am I right? I think I'm right. All right, I want to want, I, <laughs> give her, how do we?
How do we do? <laughs> okay. All right, I guess there's a reason I'm not a voice actor. Tim <laughs> Okay.